Welcome back to the Black and Gold Report. I'm joined now by UNCP Braves baseball head coach, Paul O'Neill. Thanks for being on the show. Well, thanks for having me. Before we get into this season, let's talk a little bit about the 2015 season. The Braves showcased the nation's top scoring offense at 10.2 runs per game and finished with 38 wins. What were some of the takeaways from last season? Well, obviously we were very offensive last year. I mean, our team was was very good last year. We won a lot of games, uh, did a lot of great things throughout the season. You know, I guess, you know, the, the biggest takeaway, you know, for the year was, you know, all the seniors that we graduated. You know, we had a huge senior class, which was a bunch of great guys, great players, you know, went on and got their degrees. And, you know, them leaving, you know, is, was, is a big takeaway for the year. You said goodbye to 16 seniors in May, including six position starters. That group also includes five pitchers with starting experience and seven all-conference players. You've coached collegiate baseball for 23 years now. First, have you ever taken a graduation hit like this one, and how comfortable are you that you filled those holes heading into the 2016 season? All right, uh, breaking down your question here a little bit. Um, as far as having a senior class that large, uh, that's the first time since I've been at Pembroke that we've had a senior class that's been that large. Um, as far as being comfortable, you know, we did bring in 23 new players this year. Um, I'm very pleased with the talent that we brought in um, with this group. Uh, all the kids that are in the program are definitely bringing a certain skill set uh, to our program. Um, obviously, the, the number one question for me is getting everybody to gel together with having a bunch of new faces on the field. Um, it's can we play together as a unit? Can we pull together as a unit? And you know that's going to be the test. If we can do those things, then we'll be very successful. Well, let's talk about the upcoming season for the Braves. UNCP will open up its 77th year of collegiate baseball on February 6th at home against Pitt Johnstown. That series will mark the first three games of a season opening 15 game homestand. Have you been able to get comfortable with the starting lineup heading into opening day in just a few short weeks? I've got an idea of what our starting lineup is going to be. I mean, I have if I base it on what we did in the fall, I've kind of put it to paper as far as we feel like these nine guys will be these position players, this is what our rotation is going to be, and so forth. But with all that being said, we're in, the, we're in the spring semester now, and if somebody gets hot, you know, in these three weeks of pre-practice and gets going, well, I'd be a fool not to play them. So um, I've got an idea of where we're at, but it's not set in stone. It never is. Um, we got a lot of kids out there that are competing for playing time right now, and it's, you know, I've been very pleased with, you know, the effort level that they have uh, shown up with coming into January. You do return a couple players with ample starting experience, including Drew Bieber, who was a 50-game starter for you last year at second base. Has Drew been the leader for you during the fall and spring so far, and who have been some of the other players who have stepped up for you? Well, Drew, obviously, is our only returning starter from last year, okay? Um, and he's had a great fall. Uh, you can really tell um, that he's very comfortable out there in his own skin. He's a very confident player. Um, it, it shows on everything he does, whether it's offense or defense. Um, he's gonna have a great year for us. And as far as his leadership uh, abilities, he's done a good job. He's stepped up, he's taken the ball. Um, he's done more this year, obviously, than he had to do last year. Um, but I'm very pleased to have uh, Drew Beaver on our baseball team. Looking at the roster, you have no less than 23 newcomers for the 2016 campaign, including Division I transfers Justin Totillo and Jesse Stinnett, who come to Pembroke from Maryland Eastern Shore. Who have been some of the new guys that have impressed you thus far, and who are some of the guys that will be difference makers for you once we get into the regular season? Well, obviously those two guys that you just mentioned right there, um, Jesse and um, Totillo, both of them quality players. Uh, both of them are going to be major contributors in our program this year. They both had very good falls, um, along with several other guys. I mean, it's a brand new team, you know, and I could name all kinds of guys that had had good falls and that were looking to do great things for us and so forth. I feel like we got a really good mix. We brought in some junior college players, we brought in some high school players, and we've got a good mix where. We're going to have a couple of high school players that are going to start for us. We're going to have junior college players that are going to start for us. We might have a couple of returners that uh, start for us. So it's going to be a melting pot out there for us on the field. But I feel really good about where our program is right now. It's time to take our final break. 
When we come back, Paul O'Neill wraps up our conversation on the UNCP Braves baseball preview. Welcome back to the Black and Gold Report. I'm joined once again by UNCP Braves baseball head coach Paul O'Neill. UNCP does return a handful of guys on the mound, including all-conference relief pitcher Alex Britt and right-hander Logan Cook, who has 27 career starts in the black and gold. Let's break this down into a couple of areas, beginning with your starting pitching. Who are going to be the weekend guys for you heading into the season, and who are the, some guys who you believe will work their way into that role by midseason? Okay, um, well, if I had to go today, and I'm basing this 100% um, on, on the fall, um, Obviously, I feel Jesse Stinnett is going to be a weekend pitcher for us. Uh, Lane Johnson had a very good fall. Um, he should be a weekend pitcher for us. And then, obviously, Logan Cook um, is going to be a weekend pitcher for us. I mean, those three guys, if we had to play a three-game set tomorrow, would probably go, you know, probably in that order. And I like having Cook be the third guy just for the fact that, um, when you've got to win that last game to win a series, it's very good having a quality arm like that uh, going on Sunday for you versus going on Saturday. But, you know, some other guys that have had, uh, you know, good falls that I'm thinking about, uh, Justin Pegram, Zach Pate, uh, they're two young guys. They've thrown the ball really well for us. Um, some relievers that I've, or I think will be relievers, uh, Kyle Ramsey, Justin White, um, Daniel Batts. You know, who's a senior for us, had a very good fall. I was very impressed with his work ethic and what he did on the mound. He really had a, made a jump from the summer to, to the fall. So we've got, I think we have ample pitching. I think it's going to be a strength to our club this year. Um, you know, obviously I didn't mention Alex. You know, Alex is obviously a keynote guy, you know, on our staff. Um, right now he's going to be at the back end of our bullpen. Um, he was an all-conference player last year. Hopefully he can repeat and do the same things. Uh, he's got a great arm and does things really well for us. But, you know, obviously he's you know, going to have a lot heavy workload for us. It will be hard to match the scoring output of last season's club. What do you see as being the strengths of your offensive attack heading into this season? Well, obviously we're not going to be able to score 10 runs a game like we did last year. I mean, that's, if you're asking you know, these guys to do that, you're really asking an awful lot. Um, in the same breath, we're not going to be anemic on offense either. I mean, we can hit, and we're going to score our good share of runs. Um, you know, I think we might be a little bit different this year than last year. We might be a little more athletic um, as far as being able to run the bases a little bit more. Uh, we might have a little more different style uh, to play, where last year we hit just doubles and home runs and just, you know, just kept pounding the baseball. Uh, this year we should be slightly different, but, but not much. Um, it's just guys are going to have to make an adjustment to the pitching in the peach belt and that's going to that's going to take a little bit of time where 2015 team was seniors they'd already been through the fires they knew what the pitching was going to be like they understood what their approach had to be like and this group right now is going to have to learn that very quickly you know and um, the only way you learn it is by doing it and being thrown in the fire and understanding how quick the game is and how much is going into it and so forth. Um, but in the same breath, I am very confident in these kids. I mean, they're, they've got some talent and, and they're working their tails off every day, you know, on the field in the weight room. And they're going to be successful. You know, it just might take them just a little bit more time than, than the team last year did. The Peach Belt Conference annually sends at least one team deep into the postseason, and this year will likely be no different. Who are the teams to beat this year, not only in the Peach Belt Conference, but also in the Southeast region? Well, we want to beat everybody, all right? That's the first and foremost. Um, league's going to be strong. Uh, I haven't really, tell you the truth, I haven't really dug into the whole league and started looking at, well, they've got this guy coming back, and they got this guy, and they recruited these kids. They're going to, everybody's going to be strong. Everybody is going to be a quality team. Everyone that we play, in my opinion, that's on our schedule, has the ability to beat us. You know, if we don't play well, then we're going to lose. So we have to play well every single day um, if we want to be successful out there. And, you know, the strength of our schedule, we're a top 25 team in the country. So we play a top 25 
type schedule. So that's you come out and watch us play, um, you're going to see quality baseball. You're going to be very impressed with the level of play that you're going to see on both sides of the field. So it's, it's a thing that we better be ready, we better be uh, fundamentally sound. Um, if not, we will lose. With 569 victories in 19 years as a coach, including 485 as the skipper of the Braves, you could conceivably hit a pair of win milestones this season. What do milestones like that mean to you? And what do they say about what you've been able to do here at UNCP? Um, you know, milestones are, are, are nice. Uh, there's some accolades. Um, they're not things that drive me uh, by any means. Uh, as far as being able to win games here at Pembroke, I think it's I think it's outstanding but what we've done for with what we have to work with with our program the league that we play in um, I think we are definitely achieving what the school wants us to achieve as far as our baseball program goes thanks coach and good luck this season all right thank you that's all the time we have for this week's show for our entire crew I'm Cameron Songer thanks for watching we'll see you next week and until then go Braves